we are going to be making a fully 3D printed six motor tier one attack drone from our favorite online war game, War Planet. We got a lot of designing to do, we got a lot of work to do. What's up, Dave? What are you doing? Hey, buddy, how's it going? I am working on a pretty cool project here. <laughs> look, look at this thing, bro. It's going to be 3D printed and it's going to be flyable. So we're basically making a hexicopter, three on top, three on bottom. And uh, we're doing it for our friends over at War Planet. Got parts over here printing. Is that what you got going over here? Well, hey, good luck, bro. Yeah. So if you guys know us, you know we love making crazy things fly with fixed wing, but we also love making crazy drones as well too. And we've visited a lot of crazy projects in the past, whether it's a flying box fan, the world's largest mini quad, a salt spreading drone, a flying Christmas tree, to the Millennium Falcon. And just like with any of these projects, they all pose different challenges. Our main challenge in this one is that this drone is gonna be fully 3D printed. That means we're gonna have incredible detail, but we also gotta be really careful to not add too much weight. Now Dave is working really hard on the design to give awesome detail, but also make it as strong and as light as possible. Now if this all works out good, this drone is not only going to look incredible, but also fly incredible. Alright, so I've got all the parts printed off for the bottom of this. Now it's time to start assembling stuff, so I need a flat table to work on to make sure it's nice and square and everything. So I'm moving over to this table. Basically, I'm going to lay all this stuff flat, then I'm going to glue everything together with Zap, and um, I also have to glue together our plywood frame here and hopefully by then all the top pieces will be done and I'll get them glued together and put on too. So we're gonna see how this works out and wish me luck. All right, you guys, so I just got done um, patching up all my cracks and everything for my 3D prints and I tried something a little different I haven't done before and that's using a uh, spot putty or uh, glazing putty for auto body. I put it on, sanded it down. I'm gonna put some primer on this bottom and see how it turns out before I go any farther and do the top because I don't wanna waste all my time putting this stuff on if it's just not gonna work out the way I want. So I'm gonna put some primer on it. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're down here at manufacturing. Rather than taking the chance of uh, falling apart, I guess, when we go to test our frame, we want to make just a plywood frame to be able to mount our motors and everything on to do our testing and tuning, get it flying good before we actually put the 3D printed parts on. So while Dave is cutting out the wooden analog, I'm working on the flight control board here to get it programmed and ready for that. This is a Y6, which means it's gonna have six motors in a Y configuration. There's a lot of tuning and a lot of programming. Now this is all to really mimic the looks and the flying characteristics of the tier one attack drone, one of the new vehicles along with the new mechas available on War Planet. Now War Planet Online is a massive multiplayer online game that you can play with your friends and family on your Android, on your Apple, on your PC right here, and on so many other platforms. You can start the day with enjoying this game on your PC, but then throughout the day, you can use your mobile device, whether it's iPhone or Android, to be able to customize your base, stockpile troops, and use your tanks and helicopters. You can even conquer cities like New York, Paris, Moscow, or Tokyo. And War Planet is always evolving. Drones and mechas are just some of the newest features and newest vehicles that you can use to be able to conquer your next battlefield. You can use your drones as an offensive backline, or you can use the mechas as a defensive frontline. And it's not only the vehicles and the technology that up your game, but also the people. Use the power of different lieutenants to revolutionize your game. These lieutenants will improve your army's bonuses and also provide special skills. And just like Flight Test loves to give back, War Planet feels the exact same way. So we have a special static display drone that Davis specifically designed just for you, and you guys can win it. Now for details on how to win this one-of-a-kind custom-made drone, you can go to War Planet's Facebook page and they'll give you all the details you need to know to how to win. So make sure you check out War Planet's Facebook page, download this amazing game, enjoy some play. Now I'm just about done tuning this control board here. Dave is cutting out the pieces we need. We got an analog drone to build. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I painted silver underneath of this green. And the reason behind that is I want to make this thing look weathered. So after I lay the green on, um, I'm gonna gently sand it so some of the silver shows through, and then I'm gonna clear coat over top of that, and it should give it a really cool weathered look. Now you're just randomly hitting it, correct? Yeah, yeah, just uh, no real pattern. I'm just trying to make it look so it, um, I'm sanding everything this way, so it would look like as it's flying through the air, getting hit by stuff, it would wear it down more. I love it. And then like around the ducks here, you know, the air is gonna be flowing this way. So I'm just trying to make it, you know, you're, you gotta try to think of which way all the airflow is going and that's the way the scratches and everything would be. Okay, we ready? I think we're ready here. Uh, 
Again, this is basically an analog for the spacecraft that uh, Dave is 3D printing. But the nice thing is we can actually mimic the weights and keep adding weight and make sure everything's going to fly safely and stuff. The most exciting thing is always the first flight. Let's see how it goes. What's your predictions? Uh, I think it's going to fly. I, I checked the gyros like three or four times over. So 2D no hold, I believe, is where it's basically out of level. Let's see what happens. I think we need to dial down the, uh, the P gain a little bit. <laughs> Very encouraging. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust some rates. We'll go from there. I think we know where we need to go here. I'm gonna a couple other adjustments here. By the time Dave gets back to lunch, he'll be able to start tearing this thing apart and put it in the real thing. All right, so we went out a couple more times and we did additional tuning. We got this thing flying incredible. So now that we have it flying incredible, we are waiting on one last piece and that's from our good friends at PCB Way. That package should be arriving either this afternoon, early in the morning. We don't want to take any chances with what we have here with the loose plywood mounts. That's why we went with carbon fiber. We don't have the technology to be able to route that out, but PCBWay does. So if you guys have any designs that you're doing where you need a part made, PCBWay is the way to go. So what we're gonna do now that we have everything flying good is we're gonna start taking the electronics from this uh, plywood analog to our tier one 3D printed drone that they've designed. And then once our motor mounts arrive at PCBWay, we can put those in and we're ready to fly. It looks way better than plywood. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I just simply made some uh, 3D printed brackets, as you see right here, they just glue on, and then you slip a zip tie through, and you zip tie down your ESCs. The uh, power distribution board actually has a 3D printed piece underneath that gets screwed down to it, and then this is zip tied to the top. It's uh, like pretty a simple. It's like a million bucks. So yeah. you know what this looks like to me? This looks like an angry alien spider controlling everything. Yeah, Is that yeah, not or, like a spider? Or, or like, Seven, look at this. 100%. I don't yeah. like spiders. Let's I call know. it the Kraken Doesn't or it look like it's like he has a little tentacle <laughs> finger thing? Yeah, I, I prefer the Kraken rather than spiders. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's not spiders. Release no the spider. Kraken! <laughs> I like it. He's gonna pet on me. Ah! He shocked me. <laughs> shocked. That looks great. All right, yeah, yeah. I, I believe uh, the batteries are gonna fit right here and right here. Should work out pretty good. Yep. So there was one connector all the way in the very back. Yeah, that we forgot, well, that I forgot to plug in <laughs> before I screwed it together. It's, it's proverbial we. Uh, but luckily we had just enough room to get that in there, but there's lots of wire. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a quick test run up here on a three cell and uh, make sure everything's working yeah. properly. All right, you ready? Yep, all right, let's three do it. All right. because it, it, it lifted off this high like a hovercraft. It's like, that's all I'm giving you. Oh. <laughs> right. you all I don't know if you saw that. Oh, I, yeah, I wasn't paying that close attention. It's like on so. a cushion of air, so I think it's more in hovercraft mode, but it just shows I guess we can make a better hovercraft out of a <laughs> Y6 than the, uh, never mind. <laughs> That's all she's got. <laughs> but that's still awesome that it hovered on three I'll take it. I'll take it. It's awesome. All right. so, okay, well, so, we know what, all the gyros are working good. That's good. Where do you fly? I'm going to hit record here just because I don't know what's going to happen, but now we have it. Dave, I'm going to give you the goggles too, just so you can kind of watch. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to just hop it up in the air, make sure it can fly. Now, this is about a half a pound heavier than the analog that we built. So, hopefully, if it flies and the video's clear, we can take it for a cruise. That's you nervous? Cool. I'm really nervous. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I mean, planes are. I'm comfortable with weird planes. Weird drones hold other animals. But it looks incredible. Dave. It, it does. It looks durable. really cool. Do you think it's durable? Um, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't be uh, pile driving it into the ground like the Street League guys do. Okay. But, I mean, I think it could take a couple of bumps. Okay. All right, my son Mike's going to be chasing us here. Let's just start with a uh, hop in the air and a quick hover, okay? Here we go. Powering up. 
Yeah, oh, let's nice. go. That's hands off. The shadow of it on the ground is amazing too. Does it look awesome? Yeah. I want to get the goggles on real quick here. All right, here we go. Thank you, Dave. Yep. All right, I'm you are armed. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, and man. Away he goes. He's gone. He's up. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Dave, look at what you built. Look what, <laughs> look at what you That's did. Crazy that looking. shadow is so menacing. Isn't it? What in the world? That looks like right. a real thing. So, so if I saw this thing flying around, I definitely would be running away from it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something out of 2050, bro. Oh, that's scary me. It's terrifying. <laughs> Trent to the shake to the knee. Oh, I literally felt him bobble me. Yeah, yeah. As, as soon as he went around in front of you, I saw it bounce. What? Then you're going on a journey, Jamie. I'm going on a mystical <laughs> journey. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do the loop here. Oh, that looks crazy. Dude. So I get these bobbles and I realize it's actually Michael behind me being Mike, right? Yeah, yeah anytime he gets close to you, you kind of move around a little Look bit. you guys. That is the strangest looking thing ever. <laughs> don't fail, don't fail. Oh my goodness, dude, that looks so cool. <laughs> I love it! Let's go, bro! Yeah, I think that's a win. I Let's think so. go, Holy cow. David! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Job, <laughs> I'm not coming on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. All right. So does it look awesome? Yes. Does it fly awesome? Oh yeah. Yeah, you should see this thing flying around. Oh, it, it looks scary. Can't wait. Well, I guess there's <laughs> nothing left to do but to put on a mission. That's right. Let's do it. Do it.